less uh, so which one? y minus 11 root y plus 24 equals to 0 alright, solution I'm going to start by writing what is solution alright, let's write the question first the question is y minus 11 root y plus 1 plus 24 equals to 0 alright, now look at this, we can write this equation as y minus 11 we know that y is the same as y to power 1 all over 2 plus 1, 24 equals to 0 right? alright, now we can look at our minus 11 y to power 1 over 2 we can we know that if we, uh, we can subtract if we add minus 8 y to power 1 over 2 minus 3 y to power 1 over 2 uh, add them together, we are going to get what? Minus 11 y over 1 over 2. Therefore, means we can replace this with what? Minus 8 y over 1 all over 2 minus uh, 3 y over 1 all over 2. Then plus what? 24 equals to what? 10. Therefore, we can answer what is common here and here. So, what is common here and here? Is it y or y over 1 all over 2? Alright, if we factor out y over 1 all over 2 here, then we we'll left with what here? We left with now we know we bring out y to the power 1 all over 2. We bring out this one. We don't know what we are going to be left with here. So we just here we are going to be left with minus 8. But what are we going to be left with here? Don't forget this y here is raised to the power 1, 1. But as an any time we factor out this, it means we are actually dividing what we factor out. So we say y to the power 1 divided by y to the power 1 all over 2. We are going to apply uh, uh, the indices no. We say that uh, we have here a to power x divided by a to power y is going to be a to power x minus y. So 1 minus 1 all over 2 is going to be what? y to power 1 all over 2. So by the time you use this to multiply this, y times 1 over 2 multiply by y to power 1 over 2 is y to add 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 1. So we are going to get what is the plan. How that is great. So the same thing here for y minus 2. Factor is that we are going to have a minus 3 minus 3 uh, into we are going to factor a minus 3 here we will let y to power 1 all over 2 minus 8 then everything equals to what? 7 I hope this is clear alright now we can get a factor of y to power 1 all over 2 minus 8 then we will let it y to power 1 all over 2 minus 3 equals to what? 7 Alright, so we do that. We do that. We are going to equate them to 1 to 0, right? So we are going to see y to power 1 over 2 minus 8 equals to 0. Or, or, the left to this first, let's put it to the other So we move this to the other side. y to power 1 over 2 is equal to what 8. So if I take the uh, square of both sides, the square of both sides, the square of both sides, this will cancel out the then y will be equal to what 64. Y here is 64. Alright, if we put this to be equal to 0, so y to power 1 all over 2 minus 3 equals to 0. Move this to the other side. I'm going to have y equals to 5 to power 1 over 2 equals to 3. So we square both sides now. Square both sides. Square both sides. Sorry for my writing, right? So this we cancel out this, right? We square both sides. So we'll be left with what? Y. To be equal to 3 to power 2 is what? So the value of our x here, our y here is what? y is equal to 64 or y is equal to what? So y is equal to 64 or 9. So that is the uh, answer to this equation. Uh, Alright, this, this is your first time coming across the video.